it is very, very rare indeed, thankfully, that we have a aviation accident of this kind in central London. Indeed, I can't remember one uh, in my lifetime. And I think it's obviously a cause of uh, serious public concern and alarm when something like this does happen. But it is immensely reassuring to see the way the emergency services, London's fire brigade, the ambulance service and the police are able to get to the scene so fast and to do such a fantastic job throughout the day. Obviously now our thoughts are very much with the deceased, uh, their families and those who have been injured in, the, uh, in the, this terrible accident and uh, clearly there will be questions in the course of the next few days and weeks about how it happened and what we can, uh, what we can do uh, to make sure it doesn't happen again but I think the most important thing now is to let the emergency services get on uh, with doing their work of sorting this out, which they're doing extremely well. I'd be very happy to take uh, any uh, quick questions. Raised some concerns about the amount of air traffic and there is going along the River Thames next to high buildings inevitably, and about the lighting there may or may not have been on the ground. There are all sorts of questions that people are asking now about tall buildings, about uh, lighting, about the fog, about uh, the usage of Battersea, Heliport, and those are very understandable questions in these circumstances because people will naturally want to know that uh, we are doing our level best to make sure that London is protected from uh, aviation uh, accidents of this kind. Those are matters that are now uh, being investigated uh, by the Civil Aviation Authority. It would be wrong for me now to uh, to preempt any any of that. Well, you'll, you'll understand that. Boris, how long Dan. have you been told that the uh it might take for the crane to be removed. This, this, this. Well, we've just been having a, a, a discussion about that in the uh, in the, the, the silver meeting just now that, that's been taking place. And as I understand uh, the discussion that we, we've just had, they're very confident that it, the, current, the crane is now secure and that it can be uh, that uh, the problem will be sorted out uh, very shortly. But I can't I can't give you an exact time, Dan. Can you describe the scene? Yes, I mean I think I think I think you can. Imagine you'll have seen the pictures uh, for yourselves. Uh, it, it's, it's a scene of a, a tragic scene of, of a, uh, a, a the wreckage of a, a carbonized uh, helicopter, uh, and of course, a great deal of damage done to an adjacent building. And it doesn't take a great deal to imagine what could have happened had that uh, helicopter crashed into uh, a bus or or, or, a, or a heavily.